This is going to be a brief status report for how things are going in the creative coding competition. Let's get a few questions out of the way first. And when is the last day for submission? It's September 5th, so five days from now. And let's make it so that it's anywhere on Earth. So as long as it's September 5th somewhere, you can still submit. Then can you use other programming languages than JavaScript? And yes, as long as you make it relatively easy for me to test. Clear explanation how to set things up. But Python, Java, C, they should be okay. Now let's look at the progress from you guys. And the first one comes from P or Yippee. And you can find the link there on GitHub. It's nice and it works. I recommend that if you start off late, check out the GitHub link below. And if you use Visual Studio Code, use the live server extension to start it. Otherwise, you'll have problems with cores. Then Banana Man has a much more scientific approach, I think. He also uses Python here and uh, OpenCV to do image processing. Now, this reminds me very much of what uh, Destin from Smarter Every Day is doing on his channel. I mean, sure, he uses slow motion cameras, but the approach is pretty much the same. Another scientific approach comes from Ayo, who calculates the speed of the bulb using delta time. And just one small remark here that using delta time will give you the speed of the bulb as we see it moving on the screen, and that might not be the same as what happens in the real life. I think. I'm not sure. I didn't give this a second thought, so I might be wrong. Another progress report comes from R, who is doing something useful, I think. He makes the pendulum easier to see for those with vision problems. And one small remark here that color is usually the thing that causes the problems, and contrast is better to use, I think. Finally, looks like there are some discussions going on, and I think that someone will eventually find the length of the string. See you guys.